The best cameras for video podcasting are also the best cameras for streaming. And that's because we're looking for a camera that can connect directly to our computer that also doesn't have an auto shut off feature to cut us off in the middle of our interview or our live stream. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you Pod Sound School's top three choices for video podcasting cameras. And we'll separate those into three categories, consumer, prosumer, and professional. So no matter what your budget is, by the end of this video, you're gonna be all set up with the perfect camera for your video podcast. Okay, let's get to it. Hey, welcome to the Pod Sound School. I'm Studio Steve. I'm an audio and video producer and an instructor inside of our online coaching programs. You can find out more about our coaching programs by going to podsoundschool.com. So the first choice for podcasters and streamers would be a webcam. Webcams are gonna be a better option than the built-in cameras on our laptops, not only because they capture higher quality and will get a better shot, but also because they aren't actually attached to your computer, which offers you the flexibility of plugging into your computer and then moving the camera around wherever you need it to set up a really nice shot for your podcast. This Logitech 1080 camera is a great all-around choice and you can get it for about $100. You can also get the 4K version of this camera for about $160 and I will leave the link to both of those cameras in the description box below. Most webcams get a wide angle shot, which allows for flexibility when recording in small spaces. And if you wanna to try to squeeze you and your co-host into one shot with the intention of cropping in on those shots after the fact in editing. So a webcam really is all you need to get started. But if you wanna take it up a notch from that and improve your picture quality and add to the professionalism of your video podcast, the next stop is a prosumer camera. And our top pick for that is the Sony ZV-1. This camera really is everything you need to get going with video podcasting, content creation, YouTube videos, and a lot more. It connects directly to your computer and it won't shut off when it's connected to your computer. So it's perfect for live streaming or for using remote recording solutions like Squadcast, which is now part of Descript. The lens that it comes with is very impressive. It's a zoom lens that ranges between 24 millimeters and 70 millimeters, which gives you a lot of flexibility to get lots of different types of shots. If you zoom all the way in to that 70 millimeter, that's where you can get a cinematic look and a more blurred out background. Of course, you will have to step farther away from the camera. And conversely, the 24 millimeter is perfect for that wide angle shot if you need to get more than one person in your shot or if you're in a small space or need to be very close to the camera. The other thing that makes this camera so popular with content creators and vloggers is the flip screen that's reversible. This makes it perfect for solo applications when it's just you running the show. You can see what shot you have set up. You can ensure that it is actually recording and you need to be able to monitor what the camera sees when you're creating your videos and your podcast. So it's perfect for that. Another amazing feature with this camera is it captures 4K video which is really important to get 4K video if you plan on cropping in on your video. So in the case of a video podcast, if you're doing a host and a co-host and you have two people in the same shot and you want to create three shots in the edit and crop in on whoever's speaking or create like an active speaker view type effect, you can do that more easily with 4K. There's so much resolution there that allows you to really zoom in and crop in on your picture without it becoming too pixelated. As soon as you get down to 1080p, zooming in on your footage is gonna become more difficult. So this really gets you playing around in the professional world. This camera goes for about $800. I will leave a link for it in the description below. But it's important to know that there are a few workarounds that you're going to need to use with this camera. Now, an important disclaimer about this camera. When you're recording at 4K to the SD card that you'll put into the camera, the camera will shut off at about five minutes, which can be really annoying and not useful at all if you're trying to record a long podcast episode or make a YouTube video. But there is a setting in the camera. It's the auto power off temp. When you click into that setting, you'll notice that you have an option for standard or high. If you select it to high, this will actually allow the camera to record up to 30 minutes of 4K video onto that SD card. Now, the other thing that's important to know is that you will need an adapter in order to hook this camera up to your computer. And the best adapter for that is the CamLink 4K. And yes, I will also leave a link for this adapter in the description box. With this adapter, you'll be able to get the HDMI output of this camera into your computer, no problem, and you'll be all set up for video podcasting. And another big disclaimer about this camera is that this camera doesn't actually have a way to plug it in or to keep it plugged in, which means as it comes, it only operates off of battery power. Now that can be a big problem when you're streaming or doing long episodes. Now the workaround for that is a dummy battery. And yes, that's actually what they call it, a dummy battery. So you can simply remove the battery that comes with the camera 
and replace it with the dummy battery. Now there will be a cable that comes out of the camera. You may have to force it in there and even make some minor adjustments to get it to fit right. But with the dummy battery and the 4K adapter, you'll have everything you need to video podcast like a beast. So now what do you say we move on to the professional level cameras? Our top pick for that is the Sony A7 Mark III. What makes these cameras so special is that you can detach any number of lenses to the camera. And this is why professional photographers and videographers will opt in for a nice Sony camera like this. The biggest contributing factor that makes the most significant difference between professional video and consumer video is the lens. It's all about the lenses, especially prime lenses. Prime lenses have what's called a fixed focal length, which means they're not zoom lenses, and they get a superior image quality to zoom lenses. But these lenses can be very expensive, over $1,000 just for one lens. To get a nice DSLR, just the body of a nice DSLR camera like this can run you $2,000. So you're getting into the $3,000 range. I will leave the specific links for this equipment in the description box below for you. So lenses like this allow you to get really cinematic picture quality with a lot of details in the blurred out background. And our go-to lens for the Sony a7 Mark III is the G-Series FE 1.5 35 millimeter lens. This lens is incredible, not just because of the clear, really great picture quality that it gets, but also because it has really intelligent and fast autofocus, which is really important, especially when we're running the show solo. So in these Sony cameras, you can actually select an area on your screen that you want to be in focus. For example, the Sony camera I'm recording this video on, I have a little box around my face. And these Sony cameras allow you to select a small area that it will prioritize to keep in focus. In this case, I have my face selected. So to demonstrate how fast this autofocus is for you, I could just hold my hand in front of my face and you can see that it will compensate and focus on my hand. That is really cool and fast autofocus, very intelligent. And notice that it's never focusing on the microphone down here or on my hands down here. It's keeping my face in focus for me. Really important when you're running the show solo. And of course, these cameras capture great 4K quality. They also have a half an hour shutoff time with the 4K video onto the SD card. They also work and operate with the same CamLink 4K adapter. And you will also need to purchase a dummy battery for these cameras as well too. Link in the description. Finally, something to keep in mind with this style of DSLR camera is that the flip screen LED monitor doesn't actually flip around when the camera's facing you, which means you may need to purchase an external monitor. Now, if you're always going to have your camera plugged into your computer using a streaming service or a remote recording solution like Squadcast FM or Riverside FM, then you'll be able to monitor your camera on the computer. You can use your computer screen as the monitor. But if you're shooting YouTube videos, you're reading from a teleprompter, you're creating content that way, you may need to purchase an external monitor. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. I really love the free world monitors and I've left a link to my favorite free world 4K monitor in the description box below. Now, finally, you may be asking why Sony over Canon? And I know that the Canon M50 is a similar price to the Sony ZV-1. So why would you choose a Sony ZV-1 that has a fixed lens over a Canon M50, which has a detachable lens. And the biggest reason for that is the Canon M50 has an auto shut off. And the only workaround is to actually hack the firmware on the camera and download complicated software for your computer to do that. Most of us don't have the technical know-how or the patience to make that happen, which is a deal breaker for Canon cameras when it comes to video podcasting. Sad, I know I've long been a Canon guy, but with video podcasting, Sony is the clear winner. So my overall pick is the ZV-1. This is just such a great camera for so many reasons. Setting up a video podcast can be very complicated. This is actually something that we do one-on-one -on -one with clients. So if you need that private one-on-one -on -one coaching and help selecting your gear and actually getting your podcast studio set up, you can find out about working with us directly at podsoundschool.com. Also, video podcasting is a huge topic and we're constantly releasing new informative videos for you. Here you'll find a playlist all about video podcasting, how you can really level up and make a dent in the world with your video podcast. And there's a lot more that goes into getting started with a video podcast than just the camera. Veronica made this video right here where she talks about the whole setup and the strategies that you need to employ to really get off the ground with a successful video podcast. So don't wait, check it out now.